to get them to pay for prosthetics that he says are key to mobility and quality of life. Melissa Kim is here tonight with his story. Melissa. Yeah, hey there guys, you know, for most people, there really is no second thought about going for a run or a swim, but for amputees, it's just not as simple. John Edward Heath, he's from right here in the DMV. He's also a Paralympian and the third ranked adapted CrossFit athlete in the world. And he's fighting to help make running and other activities a little easier for those that look like him. John Edward Heath's workout routines are not for the faint of heart. The U.S. Marine veteran lost his leg after being hit by a drunk driver. Because of his military background, insurance covered for a variety of prosthetic legs, including five different types so he can participate in various workouts. I realized that the access that I have as someone who served and somebody who has VA benefits, somebody who has TRICARE and DOD benefits, does not extend to the average person. That's why he started fighting for other amputees last December because right now most coverage plans provide one prosthetic leg intended for walking, which can't be used for swimming, running or weightlifting. So that means if you want to go run, you don't have to ask for permission. You're telling me that I can't go run because you don't want to pay the same amount of money that you pay for a walking leg is the same amount of money you pay for a running blade. There is a bill in the Maryland General Assembly right now called the So Everybody Can Move Act. Heath says this legislation could give amputees a chance to get their lives back. What we're asking for in this legislation is not outlandishly out of the ordinary. So when you have a child that says like, oh my God, you look like me and you're in this space, you can't beat that. And this just in tonight, he tells me the bill passed with amendments, so it'll go for a vote before the full committee next, which should happen this week. He and other amputees who have testified before lawmakers say the investment in their physical health could really have a long term effect on their mental health, too. So that potentially could lower other future medical costs. Guys, back to you. The things that seem like no brainers, right, that mm -hmm. should be covered and, and things like that. He's really inspiring. Melissa, thank you.